conversation. Francis. Great. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Odinga, <coughs> Madam Karua. The very fundamental question on many people's minds tonight is the cost of living. Um, you're addressing, you're seeking votes from people who are barely uh, surviving. The cost of living, cost of unga, cost of fuel, and all the other costs are, are, are rising fundamentally. And um, in the very short run, in the interim, because you have President Uhuru Kenyatta's here um, and the government's here, what in the interim would be your proposal to reduce the cost of living and make life easier for many Kenyans? That is in the short run. But in the long run, what would be your promises? What would be your plan in the event you're elected president in August? Well, um, because there are, if you look at really the cost of it, uh, I see some people who are really trying to divide attention of the public, playing populist politics with the cost of living. But the facts are that, one, I think you had uh, like a crop failure. You did not harvest enough uh, to be able to satisfy the demands, the needs of the country. Uh, secondly, there have been other events which have taken place in other parts of the world, which themselves are major contributory factors to the rise in cost of living, not only in Kenya, but around the world. Even see the USA is fighting it. Uh, European countries right now are having serious problems uh, because of what is happening in Ukraine uh, there. So uh, there, are, there are factors beyond the actual control of, of, of the government. But you can actually um, die, uh, make some, some adjustments when you, for example, cut down on certain expenditures. And, and then focus on feeding the people, uh, making it, it much more bear, bearable uh, for the, the local person in the country. And you're really talking about basically just essential uh, commodities, like the, the cost of onga, which everybody talks about, the price of sugar, or the price of cooking oil, uh, and also uh, petrol and, and so on. Uh, you, you can, uh, by looking at the budget and making some adjustments in terms of uh, uh, expenditure, both recurrent and uh, development, you can be able to make some adjustments. Okay. Mushuma Mada, Soli Hilo Hilo, Garama ya Maisha. Bila shaka unatafuta kura ama mnatafuta kura na mwishimu wa Odinga na watu wanakuambia kuhusu njaa, wanakuambia kuhusu garama ya maisha na wanahitaji suluhisho. Kuna suluhisho la muda huu kwa sasa ili wakienda kupiga kura mwezi wa nane angalau swala hilo liwe limeshugulikiwa japo kwa kiasi kidogo. Kwa sasa tuelewe asmio haiko kwa serikali. Jubili ambayo iko kwa serikali ni chama moja mm -hmm. baina ya vyama na sita za muungano wa asimio. lakini ni kweli iko uhusiano mzuri kati ya kinara wangu na rais aliyeko kwa hivyo wananchi waelewe hatuwezi kama asimio. kuamua ni vipi lakini tukichukua mamlaka na Mungu atusaidie na wananchi tuchukue tumepeana ahadi ya kwamba kwa siku mia moja za kwanza gharama ya maisha itateremshwa na ziko jia kadhaa za kufanya hivyo na kinara wangu ashaelezea na hii si mara ya kwanza gharama ya maisha imejaribiwa kuletwa chini na serikali wakati tulikuwa kwa serikali ya rais kibaki tukiwa na kinara wangu serikali ilijaribu kuleta gharama ya maisha chini na kufanya um, kutafuta mbinu za kupatia wenye viwanda vya kusiaka unga uh, mahindi kwa bei nafuu ndivyo unga ishuke ziko njia kadhaa za kufanya hivyo na tumepeana hiyo ahadi wa sasa ile tunaweza tu ni pengine kinara wangu kuongea na mwenzake lakini mkumbuke hizi ni siku za mwisho mwisho 
na hatujui mipango ya ndani ya serikali. Yeah. Mheshimiwa Odinga umejaribu kumweleza rais moja kwa moja kuhusu swala hili unapoenda maeneo mbalimbali kutafuta kura ukamwambia labda watu wanasema hivi kuhusu gharama ya maisha watu wanasema hivi kuhusu bei ya vyakula na labda kama ana suluhisho la muda kabla iwapo utakuwa unachaguliwa kama rais uchukue usukani ama mwingine yote ambaye atakuwa anachaguliwa kuwa rais sitaki kuongea kwa niaba ya serikali E, lakini mimi ningependa kusema ati ni kweli tumezungumzia mambo haya na mimi najua uh, labda hako na changamoto zingine maana kibili nabijua shida wako naye ni kwamba serikali haitembei pamoja iko nusu ya serikali ambayo inapinga yale ambayo serikali inajaribu kufanya wao wanacheza siasa na maisha ya wakenya Uh, ati wao wanasema wao ndio wanasuluhu wakipewa uh, atamu ya uongozi katika nchi hii wataremsha gharama ya maisha chini sasa tunauliza wewe uko katika cabinet ya baraza ya mawaziri na hiyo baraza ya mawaziri ndiyo inatoa uamuzi yale ambayo nitakanya ifanyike baba hayuko katika uh, cabinet naweza tu kutoa ushauri kwa rais mwenyewe lakini yeye mwenyewe na wenzake ndio wako katika serikali kwa sisi tumeweza kupitoa pendekezo lakini saa zingine wanapata ugumu hapa na pale ambao mimi mwenyewe siwezi kuyaingia mm -hmm. e, lakini sisi tunaweza kuongea juu yale tutayafanya na mimi naweza kuhakikishia wa Kenya ati ahadi ambayo tumetoa sio mzaha ni ahadi ambayo tunajua ni deni kwa wa Kenya maana sio mara ya kwanza sisi kuwa katika serikali tuliingia katika serikali wakati hali ya uchumi ilikuwa mbaya zaidi na vile vile wakati ile um, yani mambo ya ufisadi ilikuwa juu zaidi toka tupoingia huko Uh, tena tukasi tukua tumeahidi wa Kenya tutaleta somo la bure ya ya primary Shuri. na tulipoingia na imna hii tukaanza kutekeleza somo la bure na vile vile tukatafuta mbinu ya kuleta kazi ya kwa vijana ambaye ilisaidia vijana kupata pesa kidogo kwa mfuko mwao kama ile kazi mtaani ambaye sasa inaitwa na hiyo ilikuwa inafanywa katika um, pembe zote za, za taifa ikasaidia vijana kukua na pesa ambayo wanaweza kutumia kununua chakula na vile vile tukaagiza mahindi kutoka ngambo tukalipa sisi kama serikali na tuka um, lazimisha NCPB kuuza hizo mahindi kwa bei nafuu kwa mtambo za kusaga eh, mahindi ili gram ga, ga, bei ya, 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 ya unga irudi chini kwa wananchi na ilifanyika uh, na, na mpaka hiyo iliendelea mpaka baadaye tulipokuwa na mavuno chakula karudi sawa sawa na, na gharama ya, ya, ya bei ya chakula karudi chini kwa hivyo uh, kuna njia ya kufanya haya kuna njia ya kufanya haya na sisi tuna hakika tukiingia katika serikali ndani ya siku mia moja ili tumeahidi tutapunguza gharama ya maisha kwa wakenya wote allow me to wrap this up with um, one question